Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Saints of God, we are thankful to be on stream again, live stream, and we are giving God the praise, the honor, and the glory that is due unto his matchless name. Uh, what a wonderful Tuesday, thankful Tuesday, giving God uh, all the honor and all the glory. Amen. Uh, so many parents and children are rejoicing this evening, and we celebrate you as you celebrate your victory and your success. Uh, those who have written the SEA examination and collected your results today. So the Lord bless you, and even uh, as we will enter into a time in His presence, let's put our Holy Ghost hands together and bless the name of the Lord. King of kings, Lord of lords, Lion of the tribe of Judah, we bless His holy name, and we say, what a wonderful, awesome God that we serve. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we just give you praise. We just give you thanks. We lift uh, your name above every other name. And we say thank you, Almighty God, for what you have done and what you are doing. Uh, we bless you, uh, even as your word says, from the rising of the sun unto the going down of the same. Uh, your name is to be exalted. Uh, and truly, we exalt your name, mighty God. Uh, Father, we just say we love you this evening. And we say thanks, thanks, thanks with a grateful heart. Oh, Father, we just bless you. We just bless your name. We just give you the glory and we say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord, King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, we exalt your name. We say have thy way. Shower down in the midst of your people tonight. Father, for those that are hurting, we are declaring rescue. For those that are seeking a word, we declare even as the word will come forth, it will come forth with the clarity that it's needed so that those that are in need shall receive this evening. We are declaring, God, that your holy fire will consume everything that needs to be consumed in this moment, Father. We are saying time. Thank you, Lord, as the people connect, uh, that there will be a wave of the Holy Ghost, that the anointing will break yokes tonight. Uh, hallelujah. We bless you. We bless you. We declare strength. Uh, we declare peace. We declare joy. We declare, Father God, uh, Lord, that only your will be done in this service this evening. Uh, we thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So, Facebook live stream family. It's our Thursday service, and you know, we normally keep the fast. Many things are happening, and we know that our God is able. How many of you know that God is able this evening? Amen. He is able, He is able, He is more than able. I love that line. Why? Because I've seen and experienced uh, the supernatural ability of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ uh, every day of my life. Uh, so I will keep quoting that. Oh, God is able. Oh, my God is able. Amen. Amen. So this evening, we want to go into a little time of worship. Uh, anybody have their praise put on already? Your garment of praise. Hallelujah. No spirit of heaviness on Facebook live stream this evening. We are saying uh, to God be the glory and we exalt his name. We raise a hallelujah, hallelujah in the presence uh, of almighty God and in the presence of our enemies this evening. We bless his name. So at this time, I turn you over to Sister Crystal and Pastor Christopher Buckley. We'll take us into a time of worship. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. 
situation we live to praise you you are great and greatly to be praised lord father we just bless you we just bless you tonight you are great lord you are awesome jesus oh we love you 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 we bless you jesus he's so awesome to us
Too much of, too much of.
night, mighty God. I declare that every captive is being set free tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. I cancel every blood of the enemy. I declare the fire of the living God will fall upon you this night. That you shall be strengthened to go through your journey of life with the joy of the Lord, with the power from above. I decree and declare the anointing, the anointing breaks the yoke tonight, smashing to pieces everything that have held you back. I decree and declare as God's silver, you are being set free tonight in this atmosphere. In this atmosphere, we command the blessings of Jehovah God over your very life. We release the fire of the mighty God to the live stream family. Brokenness, we speak healing. Worry and distress, we speak the peace of God over your life and over the atmosphere. Oh, we bless you, Lord. Ah, we cancel every negative thing that have projected itself within your space. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it shall not break you, it shall not harm you, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, it shall miss you. Uh, I declare every dart that was fashioned to take you down uh, is now missing you and falling to the ground. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, Father, we speak the blessings and we cancel the curse. We speak the love of our Father over the atmosphere that your people is receiving. Uh, Father, that warmth from above. Uh, Lord, even as you will, will release your very love, that your people will embrace as you embrace them in this time. Hallelujah. Glory, glory. Receive. I declare healing, 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 the healing virtue of our Father. To the individual that texted me just before I came home, where the burden is very heavy, I speak into your very spirit right now. Every wicked thing that was assigned to your life and that of your family, that through the power of the mighty God on this day shall be broken. Every hex, every diabolic spirit, every form of necromancy and evil, everything that have come up against you, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it shall be turned around. I decree and declare right now you're receiving strength in your mind, strength in your spirit, strength in your physical body to press on in great faith. The battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. I declare you are strengthened in Jesus' name mighty name to do the will of our Father and that you shall have a great testimony. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. We bless the Lord. Amen. How many of you enjoy the time of worship this evening? Amen. We enjoy being in the presence of Jehovah God. We are thankful that our God is awesome, he's marvelous, he's amazing, he's miraculous. And we are just in awe of his magnificent presence. Amen, amen, amen. Somebody shout a praise in your home. Amen. It's past midweek and God have brought us this far by faith. Nothing will stop our praise. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing will stop our praise. Because absolutely nothing is too difficult for him to do. Amen. Oh Lord God, who made the heavens and the earth, we bless his holy name for he's wonderful, uh, he is marvelous, uh, and we are just thankful, thankful, thankful. Uh, saints of God, we just bless him. It's just an awesome place to be in the presence of Jehovah. 
we want to just look into the book uh, of Exodus uh, and we're looking at Exodus chapter 13 uh, even uh, entering into 14 the latter part of 13 from verses 17 uh, and uh, even as we read and we study the Word of God uh, I want you to develop a love and an appreciation for the Word of God. When you are able to love this Word, you can safely say you're in love with the Lord. You are in love with your Savior. You are in love with Jesus, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us, the Bible say. The Word is alive and full of power. So the more you get into this Word, the more you study this Word, and as you study, you apply it to live the Word. You are walking with Jesus. You are talking with Jesus. And you are living for Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Word works. Tell your neighbor the Word works. The word works. Amen. So how many love the Word this evening? Amen. Anybody? Hallelujah. Live stream family, do you love the word? Uh, Jesus is the word. Hallelujah. And I thank God for the word. Had it not been for the Lord, have you ever thought about your life? Where would you have been? What would have been your situation? I can think of so many testimonies of how the Lord has been good to us, to myself, to the Lighthouse family, to the live stream family, to villagers to people in all circles, wherever you go, you can see the goodness of God. The fact that uh, we are able to continue virtually is the goodness of God. Amen. Uh, uh, we're hearing and seeing many things that are happening. Uh, but child of God, we are always encouraged. We are encouraged to do the work of the Father God that have called us and he has given us his name. He has given us a hope uh, and he has given us a peace. Uh, I rest in his peace. Uh, so Bible tells us uh, in verses 17, uh, are you willing to read my name? Exodus chapter 13 from verses 17. All right. So Bible says here, and it came to pass when Pharaoh, you see, sometimes I tell you the power fails. Amen. So you have to have your hard copy, amen? So I'm reading from the hard copy, amen, live stream family? Hallelujah. Bible says, And it came to pass when Pharaoh had let the people go, that God let them not through the way of the land, amen, uh, of the Philistines, although that was near, for God said, Lest peradventure the people repent uh, when they see war and they return to Egypt. Uh, so in, from the Amplified it's saying, so it happened uh, when Pharaoh let the people go, uh, God did not lead them uh, by way of the land of the Philistines, uh, even though it was nearer. And sometimes you will look at the journey, it is nearer and you want to take that route, but God uh, will lead you differently. You see, God is not like man. Uh, God is different. Uh, and sometimes the route that you would, uh, or the route that you would use, it can get you into trouble. Anybody knows that? Sometimes, you know, yes, uh, the place that you want to pass, uh, sometimes because it's shorter, it may be shorter, but even though it's shorter, you may not reach faster because of the trouble that you will endure on the journey or the conflict uh, that you will meet up with. Uh, so God have a way of doing things. Uh, the people, uh, the Lord did not want them to pass there because uh, they would have uh, wanted to turn back because of the war and what they would have experienced. Uh, with the Philistines. So God knows the end of a thing. Amen. Mm -hmm. So he allowed them uh, another uh, road uh, to go through. So Bible says uh, the people might change their minds when they see war. That is that there will be war and return to Egypt. Verse 18 says, but God led the people around by the way of the wilderness uh, toward the Red Sea. The sons of Israel went up in battle array orderly ranks, marching formation out of the land of Egypt. When you look at that, it is powerful because they had to maintain that level of order, even coming from the head straight down to those that are receiving instructions to march out as God has given Moses even to the people. Sometimes uh, we may think we will just run out. You know, there is danger. And 
a building or something is on fire and everybody want to scamper and run out at the same time, you will have more casualties. You will have more losses. Uh, even though you are saying, you know, time is of the essence. Uh, even though time is of the essence for they to get away from the Egyptians, uh, God was with them and they had to move in order of a rank as God has spoken uh, even to his son. Uh, so sometimes you're in a situation, uh, but still maintain uh, decency and order according to the word of God. Amen, somebody. Whatever situation you are in, trust God. If you don't trust God, you will move just as you are feeling overwhelmed and anxious, and it can cause more problems. Bible says Moses took the bones of Joseph with him, for Joseph had solemnly ordered the Israelites, saying, God will assuredly take care of you, and you must carry my bones away from here with you. Even though he died in Egypt, he did not want to be remembered uh, in Egypt as one that stayed there. So they followed the instruction. Uh, Bible continued to say in verse 20, they journeyed from Sukkot in Goshen and camped at Etham on the edge of the wilderness. Verse 21 says, and many of you would know this, the presence of the Lord was going before them by day in a pillar of cloud to lead them along the way and in a pillar of fire by night to give them light uh, so that they could travel by day and by night. Uh, he did not withdraw the pillar of cloud by day nor the pillar of fire by night uh, going be from going before the people. It is important to know that when you are in trouble that God is with you. In this point in time where we are in, uh, we may not see him as a pillar of cloud or a pillar of fire but we know that he's Holy Ghost fire and we know he's on the inside of us. And even as he spoke to his prophets in time past through dreams, through vision and <clears> through <throat> men and women of God, he continues to do it today. As a child of God, you must know how God will speak to you. You must get so familiar in a sense, you must be so connected to God that you must know when God wants to speak with you. Amen. You must know that God have a word he wants to release into your very spirit. And until such time, you must be uneasy until you receive the word of God. Because sometimes we are so busy having everything done, we are not realizing that God is saying, I need to speak with you. I need to release some truths into your very spirit so that you can be able to go forward. And when we look into chapter 14... Bible tells us and the Lord spoke unto Moses saying speak to the children unto the children of Israel that they turn and encamp before Pihahirat between Megdal and the sea over against Baal before it shall you encamp by the sea for Pharaoh will say of the children of Israel they are entangled in the land the wilderness had shut them in when God is leading the way, whatever you encounter, know because God is leading, you are going to come out successful and victorious. The people weren't being just led by Moses. Moses has a leader and his name is Jehovah God. Amen. So Moses was following Jehovah God's instruction to lead the people out. Moses, as Bible tells us, the greatest, one of the greatest all time prophet or prophet of all, he wrote the first five books of the Old Testament, which is known as the Pentateuch or Law Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and Deuteronomy. And he did even some of the Psalms. Uh, you will see the favorite one that for many people, Psalms 91, uh, and it was ascribed to him. Uh, now, child of God, uh, Moses was one uh, that followed instruction of Jehovah God. Uh, but the people, again, as I said to you, uh, you know, uh, on Monday, the people had a problem following instructions. Uh, and you have to know that in this time uh, where you are in, in your journey, in your Christian walk, uh, the instructions that you take from heaven will bless you. Uh, the instructions that you abandon uh, will cause you to miss the mark uh, and miss your blessing. 
Everybody wants to be blessed, but nobody wants to be consistent. Your faith walk must be consistent. Not because you desire things, but there should be a passion for the God that has saved your soul. Amen. So the Bible is saying here, when we see uh, Pharaoh, he was thinking uh, that the people there, it says, for Pharaoh will say of the Israelites, they are wandering aimlessly in the land. The wilderness has shut them in. Listen, when God is leading you, whether it's the wilderness or whether it is the sea and God wants you to go through, God will make a way. Hallelujah. He will make a way of escape. It doesn't matter what is facing you right now. I encourage you to face it with Jehovah God. Whatever the situation, whatever the season you are in, I encourage your heart. God is able. He cannot fail and he will not fail you. Trust in him. Trust not in your own understanding, but trust in his word. Rely upon his promises. There are many that make it and have testimonies because they walk in disciplined obedience. When you walk as an obedient soldier in the army of God, people are amazed when you come out. People are amazed to hear and to see the testimony, the goodness of the mighty God. It is important that you walk in obedience. Pharaoh had a lot of thoughts going on, but nothing could have stopped the children of God or the Israelite victory, not even the Pharaoh. Amen. You must know that your enemy cannot stop your victory unless you give it to them. Amen. True. Amen. No. Your enemies cannot stop you from collecting your victory. It's only if you hand it to them. You see, their words over your life is of no effect. It is null and void unless you give it life. Unless you begin to entertain the negative things they are saying about you, and that is all you see and all you hear, then you will live what they are saying about you. But I declare every negative word is canceled over your life, that of your family, and that of your household in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare the blood of Jesus is all over you, upon you, and that you are free from every negative thing that was spoken, every negative projection. I decree and declare your testimony is sure. And you shall rejoice all the days of your life. Yeah. Bible says in verse 4, I will harden, make stubborn, defiant Pharaoh's hearts. So he will pursue them and I will be glorified. Sometimes we may not understand why God do things. And I've heard people ask, so why God uh, harden the heart of the Pharaoh? You see, the Pharaoh think he was a God unto himself and never acknowledged the true and living God. And sometimes God will have to put pressure to her to show him that he is who he say he is. And God will do what he says he will do. How many of you know that God will do what he says he will do? God has promised or give you word that he will do anything in your life. Amen. Have you ever received word that God will do something in your life? Live stream family. I have received word and I've seen it come to pass. And I'm still seeing word come to pass. You must know that God is true to his word always and in every season. So even though the Pharaoh heart was hardened, it was so that the God that is bringing the people out of Israel, Jehovah God, Yeshua, Yahweh, that he will be glorified. When you are going through your fiery trial, it's not to kill you, but it's that your God will be glorified. When you are going through your testings, when you are going through your situations of life, it's not so that you will die, or not so much that the enemy can have a victory, but it's the God of your salvation will be magnified, that you will be able to encourage somebody when you are out of it. People will see and know. You see, when people know that you are going through something and they see you come out, it's like, wow, I didn't expect it. God have a way of causing people to say, wow, amen. Because when you come out, you're looking good. You're smelling good. And there is nothing to show because why? God protected you while you were in the fire. God protected you while you were in the flood. He 
preserve your life uh, and he preserve you with a great testimony that he will be glorified. He said, if I be lifted up, uh, I will draw all men unto me. Hallelujah. Lift up the name of Jesus by your lifestyle. Your lifestyle makes a difference. Amen. Yes. We are seeing and we are hearing things today and people are falling away from the faith uh, because churches are closed. Buildings are closed. Uh, I said to you, uh, the buildings may be closed, uh, but your love life with Jesus should remain alive uh, because Jesus is still alive uh, and he's still well. Uh, and you cannot only meet him in the church building. Uh, you can meet him home. Uh, you can meet him where he's everywhere. Bible says he's omnipresent. Uh, we are in the virtual meeting uh, and he's in everyone's home who have welcomed him. Uh, and if you didn't welcome him, he is still there because he's omnipresent. Uh, but when you want the manifested presence of Jehovah God, uh, you will welcome his presence. Uh, so whatever come your way, you know that you know uh, your God is on your side. Uh, yes. He is able. He's a deliverer. He's a keeper. He's your healer. He's your friend that stick it closer than a brother. He yes. said, be not dismayed. Hallelujah. Yes. We are not discouraged. Uh, we are encouraged to press on. Uh, virtual uh, or real-time life. Uh, we are encouraged to press, to press, to press. Uh, we will rejoice. Uh, despite our current situation, uh, it's no reason to shut down praise. Uh, how many homes have shut down their praise? Mm -hmm. Not this home. This home is making praises uh, yeah. unto the Lord. Hallelujah. The guitar man didn't even play me a string, but bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Uh, I'm saying this evening, this house will continue to praise the Lord, Pastor. Amen. We are blessing the name of the Lord and we are giving God thanks. We will rejoice in the name of the Most High God. Hallelujah. We bless the name of Jehovah God. Praise is an instrument of war and praises go up and the blessing come down. How many of you feel to catch some blessing from the heaven? Can it come down like that? Yes, it can if you believe in faith and it will manifest even one of these days coming soon as you trust God in faith you put your hand up or you put your hand out and say Lord whatever it is I'm trusting you for I claim it in the name of Jesus and know that I know you are my provider and you will release it into my hand I declare it done in the name of Jesus God is able he's able to do it and Bible says As we go down, verse 5. When the king of Egypt was told that the people had fled, Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart toward the people and they said, Now, look at it. Eh? What is this that we have done? We have let Israel go from serving us or we have released those slaves? Sometimes people think that they can have you in a particular situation. The time that they want to have you. But when God said that you have had enough you are coming out. I declare somebody is coming out this evening in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare you are walking out boldly in the name of Jesus and your enemies cannot touch you because the God of your salvation is pronouncing that over your life. You are walking out whole. You are walking out in strength. You are walking out in power. Even somebody from a relationship. The Lord said, I have given you strength to walk aware. He said this is the time and the season yes. from certain things you have been going through. And I, the Lord your God, is fighting for you now. Run with, with my word and run with my strength. You're an overcomer said the Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Whoever you are, receive the word of the Lord. That you will go forward. I didn't plan to say that, but the spirit of the living God. Sometimes people want to keep you suppressed. The king wanted to keep the people as long as they wanted to serve them. True. But I love when God say, my people had enough. Yes. Let them go. Hallelujah. How many of you know that God has stopped your enemies and God has given you a victory by just letting you out so that you can live a free life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. The fact that you have salvation, God has allowed you to come out of the kingdom of darkness. The fact that you are able to continue in the Lord. Wow. The Lord God Almighty, omnipotent and 
omnipresent. Uh, when he says it, that settles so, it. Amen. Jehovah God of finance. Hallelujah. Bible says, hey, I just love it. Hallelujah. Pharaoh and his servants had a change of heart towards the people and they said, what is this we have done? We have let go from this, uh, the slaves serving us. So Pharaoh harnessed horses uh, to his war chariots for battle and took his army with him. Listen, I do not know who is following you right now. And I do not know what troubles you have. But I do know the God that I serve and the God that you serve is bigger than your troubles. Amen. So whoever is pursuing you, uh, listen, it may not be a literal Red Sea, but something is coming to close them in so that they cannot continue to follow you. Uh. You have to trust God at that dimension, my brother, my sister. You have to know that God is able to keep you. Uh. And Bible says, uh, as they were leaving confidently, the Egyptian chased them with all the horses and war chariots of Pharaoh his horsemen and his army and they overtook them and they camped by the seaside child of god beside Beha, he wrote in front of beelzephon as pharaoh approached the israelites looked up and saw the egyptian coming marching after them and they were very afraid or frightened so the israelite cried out to the lord now watch is what what is happening here as i'm about to close child of god they're seeing or they thought that uh, God had let them, allow them to leave in peace. Uh, and they were mapping out the road uh, so that they can go now into this place of this promised land. Uh, and they are moving. Uh, and while they are moving, they are seeing now a Red Sea before them. And they are seeing the enemies behind them. Uh, so it looks like I have nowhere to run. Uh, I'm dead meat. Uh, but in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, uh, when Jehovah God is with you, uh, though we can't see him, we can feel him. Uh, we know that he is there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can feel him in our hands. We can feel him in our feet. We can feel him all over us. Child of God, Bible says, so the Israelite cried out to the Lord. Then they said to Moses, listen, people of God, sometimes we murmur and you complain quite a bit. This is what they began to say. Is it because there are no graves in Egypt that you have taken us away to die in the wilderness? What is this that you have done to us by bringing us out of Egypt? Did we not say to you in Egypt, uh, leave us alone, uh, let us serve the Egyptians. Uh, so now uh, they begin to behave as God was saying before. That is why he take them uh, in another direction. Uh, he didn't allow them to pass the shorter way because he know that they were fearful of war. And the fact that now they have entered another one seeing uh, Pharaoh and the Egyptian army coming with all the chariots uh, and the horsemen and everything. Uh, they became fearful. Uh, in their fear, they began to say, if didn't have enough graves uh, in Egypt to bury them. Uh, they prefer to serve uh, in slavery. Uh, child of God, be careful what you are saying today. Uh, I choose Jesus. Uh, and when I'm going through my troubles, I still choose to serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, no looking back, no going back. Uh, we're pressing forward in the name of the Most High God. Uh, so they said, let us serve the Egyptians. Uh, for it would have been better for us to serve the Egyptians as slave than to die in the wilderness hallelujah you know some people when you are going through your troubles you prefer to die and die a premature death or die with your enemies rather than continue because somebody in church have offended you somebody has hurt you and somebody have done something maybe in your family or somewhere I want to say to you nobody should hurt you where you don't allow God to heal you. Amen. Amen. Allow God to heal all of your hurts. Or else you stay a broken vessel. A broken vessel cannot hold anything. If you are putting liquid, it will seep through. The vessel must be mended. The vessel must bond together again as come as, and come as one so that it can hold whatever is going to be poured in. When God wants to pour into his people, he wants his people to be whole. When you are broken, whatever God wants to put in will seep through. Uh, seep through. Why? Because there is a crack or there is a space. Uh, the cracks 
need to be filled up. Uh, the space needs to be closed in. Uh, there must be a meshing, a gelling, a gluing, uh, a sticking, a uh, coming together uh, tightly so that there will be no seepage. Uh, when God pours himself uh, on the inside of us and the blessings of Jehovah God uh, is not uh, to seep out, uh, but it's to keep so that we will be filled to overflowing. Uh, and when it does come out, it overflow us, but it refreshes others like a fountain. Uh, amen. Uh, he's on the inside bubbling, bubbling, uh, and bubbling over, coming forth. Uh, it's not that, uh, you know, when God speaks to us, it's going through one air and coming through the other. You know, people will normally say that. Uh, when the word of God comes to you, let it go deep down into the heart where changes can be effected. Yes. Child of God, my time has gone. But you can read and you will see. The people began to move and complain. But you know what? God had a plan and Moses began to cry. Let me just read this for you. Then Moses said to the people, don't be afraid. Take your stand. Be firm and confident and undismayed and see the salvation of the Lord. Take your stand, life stream family. See the salvation of God this night. Amen. He will accomplish for you today. For those Egyptians whom you have seen today, you will never see again. And I want to reread verse 13 for you. Amen. From, verses, from chapter 14, verse 13, the Bible says that, And Moses said unto the people, Fear you not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom you have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. When you stand still to see the salvation of Jehovah God, when you are waiting in his presence, be not fearful, because God is true to his word. Amen. And the Bible says in verse 14, the Lord shall fight for you. I declare that for the live stream family. The Lord shall fight for you. The Lord shall fight for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? God is God of the battles. And Moses, he was crying out to God because of the people and how they were feeling and their emotions ran high and they were complaining and they were murmuring and they were quarreling because they wanted to go back to Egypt. They wished they stayed there. So they was giving the man of God a hard time. Anybody giving their ministers a hard time today or you are giving somebody else a hard time, God is saying, look to him. He's God of the battle. He's God that cannot lose a fight nor a war. Amen. And the Bible says, uh, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel, that they go forward. Uh, spiritual progress, keep moving uh, in the midst of the battle. Don't stand up there and keep crying and complaining. Uh, keep moving. Uh, change your position uh, from complaining uh, to prayer, to worship, uh, to adoration, uh, to whatever God will have it to be. Uh, but don't stay there and die. Uh, this is what God was saying to Moses. Uh, tell the people to keep going forward. Uh, and he gave Moses instruction uh, of how to extend his shepherd's rod uh, and the sea will pass child of God tonight I'm declaring is the beginning of your parting so that you will walk through in the name of Jesus whatever doors have been blocked or locked in your face I'm declaring it shall open even tonight in the mighty name of Jesus I declare it so and I declare it done father we say thank you and we just bless you this evening I declare that your people have received from this food that they are strengthened that they shall see and experience the salvation of the one true and living God in the land of the living. I declare your peace. I declare your joy. Your joy, your joy, your joy, mighty God. Your joy in the name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you and we bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen. So saints of God, again this evening, we want to say congratulations to our junior church, uh, uh, SEA students, uh, well done, and to all those that we have prayed for. That is not from the ministry, we say congratulations, and to the live stream family, those uh, parents, grandparents who have 
children that have written. We say, you know, congratulations, whatever school that they have passed one. We are giving God thanks for their life that in this new season uh, that they shall be a blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, so we had one who sent me in uh, a text giving God thanks uh, and saying thanks for the prayer. And I'm just going to ask uh, uh, Brother Arnaldo to play it at this point in time. It's a testimony. So we have one testimony here. All right. It's a voicemail. So live stream family, as you're listening in, one of our junior church students sent a testimony. So I decided I'll play it. Yeah. The last voice. Good night, church. This is Carissa. I just want to thank the Lord for helping my pass for Kuva East. Amen. You know, during... Um, during COVID-19, I was sad because um, the SEA day, it got postponed. But during that time, I was praying with my mom and we realized I needed some places to brush up on. So I just want to thank the Lord for showing me all those places to brush up on. And also, I want to thank Apostle for the great counseling, the prayer and encouragement and all those who kept me in their prayers. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's put our hands together for her. And that was Carissa Ford. We thank God for her. We bless the name of the Lord. So we say congratulations going out to our junior church students. And that is Joshua Subaya, Tristan Ramlakan, again, Carissa Ford, Emma Sau, and Michaela James. Let's put our hands together for them. They have all done well. And we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, as some we know that uh, they, uh, we have prayed for them. They are not members of the local assembly. Some I don't have their name. I know their parents' name or their grandparents. Uh, we say also congratulations to them. But I know these kids have really worked hard. And we really thank God for them. Amen. Amen. So we say shout out and blessings to you. Amen. From the Conley family, from the Lighthouse Empowerment Sanctuary family. And I'm sure the live stream is shouting out praises to you all as well. Uh, also, uh, I understand today is Brother Rory Subaya's birthday. We say birthday blessings to you. I understand it is Brother Daniel, is it Griffith? Griffith birthday. I want to get the thing right. Amen. So we say to the two brothers, uh, birthday blessing. Amen. May you enjoy. I know the fast is about to be broken so may you enjoy the rest of your evening and good health and strength and to all those that have celebrated or will celebrate uh, even during the course of this week uh, i declare blessings whether it's an anniversary a birthday whatever you are celebrating good success from the examination we say god bless you god bless you real good amen and we thank god for this opportunity we have gone way over our time but we thank god it was a time well spent in the presence of jehovah god so this evening, as we go out, we want to ask them to sing something rejoicing, whether it's we celebrate your success, we celebrate your birthday, we celebrate you, Jesus, something, but we want to go rejoicing, much love, something, one of the songs, but we say much love to you. We are on on Sunday morning, 8 a.m. live stream family. The church doors are still closed. The public cannot come in or the members cannot come in to do service uh, but we are thankful to God that we can come and bring you the service on a Sunday morning from the sanctuary and those that uh, will come uh, even in the future as the doors of the church will be open so blessings to you stay strong uh, be dressed and ready for church on Sunday morning at 8 a.m. so I turn you over as we close to the singers in the house and the musicians amen Sing my 
just can't keep it to myself.